Yeah, happy with the performance. You know, I thought we were excellent, um, especially after we settled down in the first half. Um, from there on until we got up 3-0, it was, it was some of the best soccer we played. And it's at the right time, so we're going to keep moving forward. And, you know, put it in perspective, we got a job to do on Sunday, and that's what we're going to look to do now. Coach, first three-goal game of the season, just uh, is it something you guys you think about that, you know, that you haven't had a three-goal game or you just kind of move along and just whatever happens, happens? Uh, we just saved it for the playoffs. <laughs> you know, we had it in us all year long. It's you know, sometimes you finish goals, sometimes you don't. Um, and we had to do some, you know, more little things to probably get the goals, and we've started to do them. And uh, now we're rewarding ourselves for our play, and, you know, it's at the right time. Eric, two goals tonight. Just uh, what you think about the, which goal was better, which goal was more creative, what did you enjoy more? Uh, my first goal was definitely way better than my second one. My second one was just kind of tapping, which I've been kind of waiting for it to happen all year, so <laughs> I was pretty happy with the second one. But... The first one, yeah, we just had an overload, about a minute left in the game, in the first half. And uh, I think Addy sent it in, they just cleared it up, and I just hit it. Yeah, I thought he should have hit it harder. Yeah. <laughs> what do I know? You guys had a lot of opportunities in the first half. Couldn't get the goal until 18 seconds left for, for the players. Talk about what that does going into the locker room for you guys. Uh, for the team, it just it's huge boost, huge confidence boost because we knew we were playing well, but you need to get that goal so like so the team feels better, and then they're going into the locker room, the other team feeling down. So it was a huge boost for us going into halftime with one goal lead. Yeah, definitely, it gave us a lot of confidence going into the second half, knowing that we're a goal up. So it was, it was good. How's uh, Brian Guy go doing? He got an elbow or an arm or something? Yeah, you know he's got a. You know, bruised larynx, and I don't know. They told me some other thing too, but I don't remember it now. I think he'll be fine. He'll be all right to play. Yeah. Okay. You able to talk and communicate? I haven't talked to him yet, so I don't know. Have you guys talked to him? Yeah, he was talking a little bit. He's, yeah. yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I think he'll be all right. It's just uh, we'll have to see, you know, how it responds if he can breathe well enough to play. I think it's a question. I know it has a little little pain there when he's breathing in and out, and to play a game and. At that intensity level, you know, maybe it's, well, maybe you'll be able to, maybe you won't. Okay. For you being named the player of the year, uh, just your thoughts on that and having so many guys on first team, what's the game from that one? Um, it was an honor being named, um, but more importantly, we all got named on, or a lot of us got named on the first team, and that just shows the quality of the team, and and we're in it to win the national championship, so those awards don't mean too much, so that's our big goal. Uh, the goalkeeper situation. Uh, yeah, Jake, step in first college, you know, appearance. Uh, your thoughts on how he played and, and what brought him into the lineup tonight? Yeah, I thought he was great. You know, for a guy, you know, we throw him in a playoff game for his first start. I thought he handled himself, managed his nerves, and you know, played confidently. Uh, you know, he got into this because he's been training hard and uh, doing very well in training. And you know, it comes a point in time when. You got to look at every position, and you know Fernando's a very good keeper. He's young. He's played a lot of games, and I think you know this first time around he started to. I don't know if he's worn down, but hit a little little slump. So we went with Jake. He's been a little bit more confident, better in training, and you know I think it paid off today. For all of you guys, you guys went into a game a week ago that you had to win to host mm -hmm. this week. You guys get another shot at them. Talk about going to the championship game against Western. Yeah, it's going to be – we're going to be happy to play them on our field. Um, you know, it's bigger, it's nicer, there's less wind. Uh, but, you know, we're going to have to do what we did tonight. We're going to have to move the ball quickly. We're going to have to really uh, – you know, our player movement is going to have to be sharp, our rotations. If we do that, we should be fine. Now, you know, they're going to do what they did last week. They're going to sit back. Be physical, kick the ball out of bounds, and uh, you know, hope for restarts and throw ins on us. Okay.